how's your day going so far? I know Monday is just around the corner and I hope your weekend has been going well. And if you're just tuning in, you're listening to the View From My Window podcast where life is explored through positive thoughts. Everyone has a window and each window has a different view. And this is the view from my window. I'm so glad that you are joining in on this podcast where we can talk about real issues, real solutions through a real God. But before we get into the topic, I want to thank all those who have been tuning in, listening, and commenting through this platform, which is through Spreaker and also through my Facebook page. I'm happy to say that you can now find this podcast on iTunes and uh, through uh, Google Play Music. So if you use either of these apps, please look me up. And if you enjoy listening to The View From My Window, or if this is your first time here, please subscribe. Part of life is building a community or a support system where we can build each other up through positivity and share common thoughts and goals with each other. And that's exactly what the view from my window is all about. So I'm not sure where you are listening from, but where I live, we have been going through some strange weather changes. One day it's raining and then snowing. And then this past week, we were in the high 70s with tornado warnings and then back down to snow flurries. I'm sure God is keeping the meteorologist on their toes, not to mention me with my daily changes of outerwear. But this this, uh, leads me into today's episode, which is entitled Changes, or as David Bowie would say, changes. Ha ha ha. Didn't say I was a singer. But anyway, This brings me to the question, why is it so difficult for many of us to deal with and accept changes in life? That is a question that we all, I think, deal with at times. Maybe change is difficult because we associate it as something negative. Maybe it makes us uncomfortable or perhaps it just seems too difficult because we are afraid of failing. It's sometimes easier to see change as a possibility and easier to accept the idea once the old year ends and the new year comes in. You know, resolutions are made and the clock strikes midnight. Um, The revisiting and renewing the idea of a new you looks attainable, but not long into the new year, we begin to rethink our strategy. Taking a leap into something untried is scary, so we resist. Sometimes we make a half-hearted effort attempt and then we drift back into the same old, same old. We all know the scenario all too well, but I'm here to say change is good, and this is why. I have 10 points to this, and the first one is change is good because it teaches flexibility. When the environment and people around us change, we sometimes have no choice but to change with it. This allows us to have a new perspective and learn to become a more tolerant and understanding person. The second reason I think change is good is because it helps us to move forward. Lessons are learned. Personal growth is taking place and progress is made. The third reason change is good is because it creates new opportunities. As the saying goes, out with the old and in with the new. When new doors are open, opportunities are there for the taking for a more happier, fulfilled life. Um, Number four, I think change is good because it reveals our strengths and our weaknesses. Unless we step back out of our comfort zone, and move forward, we will never know what we are capable of. That one I think is very important. Uh, Number five, change is good because we become smarter and wiser. Yes, we do, believe it or not. With every new experience and every new adjustment in life, we learn new skills and new lessons we never would have known. Think about it. It's a good point, I think. 
Uh, number six, change is good because it forces us to focus more. Sometimes change causes us to reevaluate what is important. Depending on the circumstances, change may cause us to shift our position and reinforce our values even more. Uh, number seven, I think change is good because it can step things up a notch. It makes the predictable to become unpredictable. Sometimes all it takes is a small change to make a dull, uninteresting routine to become even more lively and an interesting life. Um, I think also number eight, change is good because it can cause an appreciation for challenges. Challenges will often allow us to see the bigger picture of who and where we are in life, as well as where we want to be. Number nine, change is good because it can produce a faith that persists. Through our many changes throughout life, we are given the power to keep on keeping on and see the reality of the possible in the impossible. And number 10, Last but not least, change is good because it teaches us to rely on God. Let the changes come because with every forced or welcome change, we are reminded that we are not alone. Malachi 3.6 says, God never changes, is always there, no matter what. And that's true. Change may be hard and it may be uncomfortable, but it also may be better than being stuck where we are. We are just 97 days into the new year, and I hope these 10 reasons will give you a sense of hope and a, any positive changes you may want to make in your life. Change is inevitable, but growth is optional. God has a life-changing role in our lives if we would only allow Him and accept Him. Through His Word, the Bible is how we bring about change. And what about this? God uses circumstances to change us. The question is, are we allowing God to do his work? That's a question I ask myself often on a daily basis as a reminder of how much I need him. So the view from my window is here to say that we cannot make changes in our life successfully without God. And I am curious as to what you think of this topic. Please share your thoughts and let me know how God is acting in your life. How is he working? And what do you think of today's topic? Tell me um, how God can change you or how have you seen God changing things in your life? And um, I hope today's lesson and topic has been good for you and positive. And um, until next time, love you guys. Have a great week.